Hey everyone, I know last video stirred up some controversy thinking I was dissing Tesla. Absolutely not the case. I want to set things straight and say I love Tesla. That's the reason I put a reservation two years ago for a car that I've never even seen. Uh, so today I'm going to be making a video on the 10 reasons why I love the Tesla Model 3. Here we go. Overall, the design is just sleek. The curves are beautiful and it's really eye candy. A lot of people are always turning when, turning their heads when they see this car. Um, I love these handles, even though they don't pop out. This is pretty awesome. It might not be the most ergonomic. I love that you don't need a key. All you need is your phone, mirrors open up, car opens up, and you're good to go. For everyone saying, that's so dumb, what if your phone dies? Well, Tesla gives you this nice little card key that fits right in your wallet. All you have to do, put it up to the B pillar right here. You can either lock, as well as unlock the car. And then all you have to do when you get in, you place the card right here. And then you have two minutes to start driving. All right, so this is the zero to 60. Definitely, it's about 5.0 seconds. It's been tr uh, tested at 4.8. And I think especially you get more of the acceleration going from around the 30 mile per hour range up to the 70. So like I said, I think acceleration's a lot better around the 20 mile per hour range or even 30. This is my roommate, Jamin, and I'm just uh, gonna go ahead and gas it uh, when he's not expecting it. So it really throws your head back and um, you really feel that nimbleness of a Tesla. All right, to use autopilot, all you have to do is press this stock down twice, just like that, and it'll go ahead and go to the speed limit. I haven't really noticed any jerky moments with it at all. Uh, it's very responsive and it's actually a really smooth drive. This all glass roof is something to see with your own eyes. You literally look up and you see everything. You see the sky, the clouds. It really provides an open atmosphere, not only for you, but for your passengers. This roof is amazing. Here's the rainbow roof that everyone's talking about. It happens when it rains. It's probably due to the UV film uh, to protect the passengers inside from the sun. Uh, but when it gets wet, lights up like this. I literally love this ventilation system. It gets rid of all traditional car vents and it, it leaves you and replaces with this nice little sleek vent that you hardly see. It uses an HVAC system that uses air to go ahead and change the direction of air. Uh, in order to do this, you use these toggles right here. And I've seen this in a lot of Model 3 videos, but I've always been confused how it actually works. So right here is directly the middle and right here would be towards your face. Higher you go, it goes towards your forehead. Lower you go towards your chest. Uh, top left of your head, top right of your head. It actually splits into two for bi-directional control and it gives you more customization. The buttons over here, this one is the defroster, air towards your face, air towards your feet, uh, air for your passengers in the rear seat, recirculation, as well as how to turn on the air condition. You can go auto, uh, manual, and the speed will actually go all the way up to 10. It gets pretty loud, it's very powerful. This navigation system is beautiful. You can really just, it's very intuitive the way you touch it, zoom, pinch. Um, it's very fast, it loads really fast as I'm trying to go. It provides traffic info, it provides uh, satellite imaging, and provides step-by-step uh, -step directions. For example, if we go let's say the Tesla Service Center over in San Diego, it will go ahead and tell you the whole route. And if you need to stop at any superchargers on the way, it'll go ahead and tell you. Uh, it'll, t it'll tell you the round trip of how much battery you have once you get to the place, as well as a round trip back, how much battery you would have after. So this really lets you schedule how um, how you drive, where you want to go, makes it super accessible. You don't have to look up chargers on your own because the car does it for you. This navigation system is wonderful. There's three different views. You have um, going with the compass, uh, direction facing. You have the whole round trip view. And you have uh, true north. I do love the charging and the range of this car. It is the long range version, so it does get around 310 miles on a full battery, but it charges faster than the S actually. Uh, with a 240 volt outlet, I had the S plugged in at 29 miles per hour 
On the Model 3, I had 36 miles per hour. Same voltage, same amps, same plug. Model 3 was charging faster because it probably needs less power. This interior is truly like nothing else. It's very simple. It's received a lot of criticism that it could be too simple, but I absolutely love it. As Elon said, why should there be controls directly in front of the driver if the car will eventually drive itself? It really takes all the bells and whistles away from the car, uh, but it doesn't, it doesn't feel like it's lacking. Everything is controlled through the center screen. It really just gives it that simple look. The steering wheel has two control knobs that can control things such as volume, it will adjust your mirrors, steering wheel, and if you give a click on the right side, you get voice control, which can almost control everything and probably even more with future software updates. I love the cargo space of this car. The trunk lid actually lifts up very high. Uh, the trunk also has an extra compartment if you lift up right here. And you get this extra storage space where the gas tank would be in a normal car. It's about a four arms uh, length deep and it is just very deep. Uh, I actually tried laying down in here. I'm about 5'10 and I was able to get my head all the way uh, with a lot of clearance for my feet in case uh, any of the campers uh, out there. And you get to look at the stars with the panoramic roof. The front space is actually not too bad. Um, inside it comes with the Tesla charger as well as the front license plate mount once you get your license plate. And it will fit a couple groceries in here with uh, these grocery hooks that you can just let it hang. Uh, probably fit about a carry-on, uh, maybe two backpacks. Uh, not too much, but it's great for groceries. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I've had a blast driving this car around. It is just so fun. Uh, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button for more videos. I'll see you next time.